I was diagnosed of fungal infection. There was nothing the doctors did in my life. They did their best. I took every kind of antibiotic you can talk about. I was tired of injection. This head was literally rotting. They told me I would never be able to have hair on my head again. I said, oh God, this is not my negotiation with you. And today I'm a testimony of the miracle working power of God. I was diagnosed to have an eye condition. Hallelujah. And it was so bad. And one time I was watching Benny Hinn. And then while he was ministering to the sick, I got down on my knees. I had expectation. I said, Lord, before I finish speaking, he said, there is a young man in Africa. You're on your knees right now. You have eye condition. Suddenly, light. I'm not just giving you stories. Light came from the television. Just hit my eyes. That was it. I know God is alive. Many of you are too innocent. You have not had cause to need a miracle. You see, for people who say, I don't believe in miracles i have only one answer for them the day you need one you will believe in it the day you truly need one and the doctors tell you i'm sorry remember the gentleman who was healed yes sadiq ibrahim how many of you remember him that terrorist guy he came and he had about two weeks to leave he was seated outside right here he's on video you can get it from the media department came hiv tuberculosis demons all kinds of things curses from wherever this gentleman got healed totally with his medical verifications the doctors could not believe it born again filled with the holy spirit and tonight jesus is alive jesus is alive jesus is alive father i thank you because you are in the midst of your people i thank you because you have given us the word thank you because you have equipped us with the anointing lord i thank you for the power of the holy spirit there is no other name i bow before you my father you're the great one let the people know i am not the healer oh god i pray let the people know that i have no power in myself not any of the ministers in ourselves we are not ashamed to declare that the purpose of the miracles you will perform tonight is for jesus to be lord and we declare that we love you our souls will be saved tonight lord i worship you thank you for your compassion thank you for cancers that will die thank you for restorations thank you because you will give everyone a testimony Oh, I give you praise. My Father, Abba Father, thank you for all the things that you will do in our midst. Your wonder-working power. Lord, let no one leave this place without being healed and blessed. Spirit of the living God, you walked with our fathers of old and you wrought wonders through the hands of the ancient. And now in this day and in this time I pray that you breathe upon us once again. Breathe upon us, O God. And let us taste of the breath of heaven. Forever you will be Shedadabayadadabayadabayadabayadabayadabayadabayadabayadabayadabayadabayadabayadabayadabayadabayadabayadabayadabayadabayadabayadabayadabayadabayadabayadabayadabayadabayadabayadabayadabayadabayadabay